Welcome back to Astro Playground. Wanted to uh, take a second to um, say hello to all our new viewers and uh, welcome you to the channel. Um, I haven't been on in a couple of weeks. Uh, that mostly is due to the lack of new product. Um, and I am unfortunately uh, in a position where I cannot use my C14. Um, uh, the, uh, the mount, uh, I have gone over uh, weight limit on it. And uh, so I've been waiting on a new mount and that should be here hopefully this week. Um, most of the, the stuff is coming this week. Um, and that is the subject for uh, one of our, uh, this video. Um, we've got a, a, a new um, uh, item uh, to talk about, a uh, little uh, unboxing. Um, we're going to do this uh, uh, probably as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, and I may have uh, some assistance from my, uh, my Australian Shepherd who may come in and, uh, and say hello. Um, this is the new uh, Spica Flat, uh, their extra large uh, field flat, uh, flat uh, panel, excuse me, for doing um, your flats uh, for your calibration frames. Um, and I can't emphasize enough the importance of doing your um, calibration frames. If you're not doing calibration frames, you are probably not very pleased or happy with the uh, the pictures that you're getting. Um, the, cal the, the whole point behind calibration frames is to uh, remove noise, remove uh, artifacts, so on and so forth, uh, that are resident in the um, image train of the camera um, and in the, uh, the sensor uh, leading, uh, that is in the camera and the image train, train leading up to the camera, um, as well as any artifacts that may be in the OTA all the way out to the corrector plate on an SCT or the front element on a refractor. Um, doing uh, flats will remove those, those artifacts. Doing dark frames will, will uh, mitigate the noise uh, from the sensors. Um, the importance of flat frames um, is uh, why we have made the purchase uh, here for the Spica flat. This particular field uh, the flat uh, panel uh, came highly recommended um, and we're going to take a quick peek at it and uh, do a little bit of an unboxing, take a peek at it. Um, I have not yet, uh, except for on the internet, seen this uh, particular field flattener, uh, flat panel. Uh, so we're going to take a peek at it and see uh, what it's like. Um, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, you know, set it up on the dew shield that we have here. And uh, the, this is where the flat panel will, will rest with the telescope pointing to the zenith. And we'll be able to take our flats that way. So we'll just do a quick little... My Australian Shepherd has decided that right now is the perfect time to get the zoomies. <laughs> and he is doing exactly that. Zooming around. This is a this is a very large box. So we may have to do this. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Okay, so you should be able to at least see that. Um, we have some parts. Uh, looks like the uh, power supply uh, and other things in there. We'll take a peek at that in a minute. Um, of course, we have all of the important, relevant documentation that we will review, um, as well as what looks to be probably, yeah, a packing list. So uh, we have also, I believe this is the This is the USB control. Take a look at that in a minute. And the field flattener itself. This is a, a rather large box, so it's a little unruly. Um, but yeah, so here we go. We'll take that and take that. I said he's got a wild hair so we'll uh, just let him run and do his thing very high energy dogs the uh, Australians yep instructions so on and so forth so that being said pull the panel 
all the way out. There is the, there is the panel. And as I said, it is a, a large panel because it has to, it has to go on this um, dew shield, and that dew shield from diameter on that is 16 inches, so it has to be rather large. So let's see if we can get that open. It's a uh, fairly nice product. Should be. So we have a, uh, a power supply, power input here. Pretty straightforward. Um, of course, the branding. And so that's that, the panel. And now we got a little bit more room to, to maneuver around, so we'll just kind of take a look at. And uh, it comes, as I said, it comes with the, you know, all the relevant instructions. Um, power supplies, and I believe also the, of course, ads for certain things, um, but it also has this USB dimmer that I can connect directly to my Eagle on, on the scope, so that is a very good thing. It looks like USB-A to USB-B uh, for control and it is in a anti-static bag for the USB control which is interesting um, they don't want apparently they don't want uh, anything to damage the, uh, the USB box including static interesting so there is the USB control um, and it is looks like it is in line and allows you to connect directly to your computer. So uh, that looks good. The USB, as I said, A to B. Uh, and I believe all of the relevant software, dimmer software, uh, hopefully they have a link to download um, all of the, the dimmer software uh, drivers and such. So um, we will go ahead and um, plug this thing in and see where we're at as far as uh, brightness levels. Uh, they have, I, as I said, I have the manual um, adjustment with it, but also the computer-driven USB. So uh, we'll take a look. The, the field flat uh, panel is um, made fairly well. Um, it is simple in design, um, but I think it is uh, very going to be very efficient in function. Um, so. Just to give you a little bit of an idea as to what the panel will do, um, it, you won't be able to see this as well as you would if you were in the dark uh, because of the studio lights. However, um, you should still be able to see it okay. Uh, the manual dimmer, um, as you can see, it, it'll bring it up and you can adjust uh, the, the brightness level of the panel um, to fit your particular needs and with the USB control through your computer and the software you should be able to dial it in you know exactly to where you need it to be um, but it is for the most part it's fairly bright um, it uh, uniform um, in its uh, in its design um, it, it has you know some spots on it that probably need to be cleaned but other than that it's uh, it's going to do a, a fairly good job, so we're excited for it. So there's the panel. We'll uh, give you a, a look at it.
Okay, so uh, it, again, it's a, a fairly straightforward piece of equipment, but a very necessary piece of equipment. And uh, a lot of times people will use a t-shirt method um, over the front of their OTA, right, and point it at uh, a cloudless part of the early morning sky or, or you know, early evening sky um, to get their field, their, their flats. And that the t-shirt method works. Um, it's not bad. This is a much more predictable and simple way to uh, get your flat fields, uh, your flat frames, excuse me. Um, this field panel, uh, I think, retails at around $550 um, with the USB uh, control. Um, if you don't want the USB control and just the manual control, I think it's $400. Um, so uh, you check out Spike a Flat um, online. Uh, spikeaflat.com, um, I believe, is the uh, the uh, the website, um, and just Google Spike a Flat. It'll pull it up. Uh, they do have them; they're available now. Um, you can also get uh, if you don't need the big one like I have, the 16-inch um, diameter on this. Um, need that for the big 14. Um, have to have that that big size. They also have one that I believe is a 12-inch, um, and it's I think. $230, something like that, um, for the uh, for the unit, and then, you know, the same price for the, the USB controller if you want it. Um, uh, this came highly recommended, and from what I can tell, it is a, uh, a very well-made uh, unit. should be very useful for uh, doing our calibration frames, um, you know, here moving forward. So, um, one of the other things uh, that I want to put out there is that if this uh, content is... Um, uh, something that you enjoy, please consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, we will have more videos coming forward, uh, moving forward. The, uh, uh, the whole point of this channel is to support uh, the growing um, hobby that is astrophotography um, and astroimaging. Um, right. uh, and on our uh, YouTube channel, you will see uh, links to our Amazon page. Um, my, uh, uh, my wife and I have also branched out into uh, shirt design. This is one of the designs that she recently did. I'm not sure how well you can see that, um, but uh, this is her own personal design. There are other ones up there, and there are more coming. Um, if you like the t-shirts, the please feel free to purchase them from Amazon. Um, that All that goes to the uh, uh, furtherance of our YouTube channel here and continuing the process in what we're doing here at Astro Playground. Um, uh, also check us out uh, at Astro World. Uh, we are um, myself and uh, Dan uh, have a regular Friday live show uh, that is at eight o'clock Eastern Standard uh, Astro World uh, TV. Uh, we also do a, a technical show on Wednesday evenings at nine o'clock, um, and I'm part of a, a, a group there. So come check us out at Astro World TV on Wednesdays at nine, Fridays at eight. And uh, I'd love to see you there. Uh, say hi uh, if, if uh, you come over from, uh, from our channel here, uh, over there. Uh, please go ahead and say hi. And, uh, and, and subscribe to Astro World uh, TV as well. Um, we're grow a growing community of astrophotographers. Uh, and uh, we're looking to help and bring others on board as we can. So uh, videos coming and going forward. Uh, we've got more stuff coming this week. Um, uh, I'm hoping to have the big rig up and running. Um, in the next week. Uh, that's the plan, at any rate. Um, have it up and up and going. Uh, we have a new mount coming, we have a new uh, tripod and JMI wheelie bar coming um, and a bunch of a bunch of stuff. Well, there'll be a whole new uh, series. Um, we, we've already started the series with the uh, with the Astrodon uh, MOAG um, and there'll be more videos on uh, the, the new equipment uh, as we get it. Uh, the Spike of Flat just seemed to be the first uh, to show up uh, via uh, USPS. So uh, once I get the uh, the rig up and running and am ready to do uh, flats, uh, I will do a second video on the Spica flat and uh, show you exactly how it works, how it sets up um, the the software involved with uh, getting it running through uh, your Windows computer. Uh, in my case, the Eagle, and uh, uh, hopefully that will um, provide uh, you know sufficient. Um, experience uh, to go ahead and um, purchase your own um, field flat uh, flat panel and uh, 
uh, I do hope that is, uh, that is ultimately helpful. So look for that video uh, coming up um, as soon as we get uh, the big rig up and running. Enjoy. Uh, as always, keep looking up. Keep being inspired by the wonderful uh, gift that we have of our heavens. Uh, there is amazing stuff to be uh, seen up there. Uh, it doesn't take, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to get to do it. You can do it for, uh, you know, a budget range as well and, and move towards um, rigs like this. But um, I, I just wish all of you the very best of health, uh, clear skies, and until we see you next, bye for now.